What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, in, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is channel reading. Caps inside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with you. I got a channel message in, so I'm going to go ahead and share it. It's a free journal reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, all donations are greatly appreciated. Single mom and two kids, so it really, really, really helps. Um, I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, shares, unlikes, and um, all the support to the channel. Just saying. Uh-uh. Hey, no, no. Okay. So the channel I received was um, a very significant death of a Taurus, a Cancer, and a Scorpio of the past is about to become very, very significant in several people's lives soon. Um, and then I heard an upcoming death of a Cancer is about to become very, very significant in um, several people's lives soon. So you plug that in, how that resonates. So apparently it sounds like a Taurus, a Cancer, and a Scorpio of the past death. So um, a Taurus, a Scorpio, and a Cancer of the past has already passed away in some shape, form, or fashion. They could have Taurus, Scorpio, or Cancer in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug those in, people in, how they resonate in your life. For some, one could resonate. For some, two plus, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, and Cancer, they've already passed away. It can be masculine or feminine, Taurus, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, but these deaths are about to become significant either in your your life. These people, this already passed away. Um, the deaths that have already occurred, it sounds like, is about to become very significant in, it sounds like, your life or somebody you're connected to's life. Um however that resonates and then i heard an upcoming death of a cancer so an upcoming death of a cancer so it hasn't happened yet but it sounds like it's gonna happen is about to become very significant in somebody's life uh it can be masculine or femme cancer they can have cancer in their sun moon rising venus or them and hammer jupiter charts you plug that in how that resonates if that resonates for you A very significant call from an insurance company for some. A very significant call from, from a lawyer for some. A very significant visit from an investigator for some. Oh my God. So a very significant call from a lawyer for some. Very significant call from a insurance company for some and a very significant visit from an investigator for some um you plug it in how it resonates and a very significant meeting with an officer charges paperwork charges and a very significant meeting with a police officer for some paperwork uh charges paperwork and then i heard charges so you plug that in, how that resonates. So, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. This is getting so deep. That, whew. 2.43 a.m. on 12, 14, 21 Central Standard Time. So these people's deaths is, I think, spurring the energy of the, the meeting with the police officer, paperwork, paper, some kind of paperwork regarding charges. That's a meeting with a police officer. I think with these people, something has occurred with these people's deaths, um, is what I'm feeling from the messages. Something has occurred with these people's deaths of the past. It's a Scorpio, a Cancer, and a Tauren. Masculine or feminine, Scorpio, Cancer, Tauren. But something has occurred, I think, with their will or an insurance policy, or maybe somebody murdered them, possibly. 
I didn't hear that, but somebody is about to become, um, have a meeting with a police officer regarding some kind of paperwork regarding charges. So some kind of charges, either somebody altered these people's will or paperwork or a life insurance policies or policy, or they help murder them. I hate to say that, but dear God, or they were an accomplice or something of that nature. How that resonates, but somehow a significant meeting with a police officer regarding paperwork and charges is about to be significant in somebody's life regarding these people's deaths, person people's deaths. For at least one person out there in the universe. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. And then um, a significant call from an insurance company. Um, I think that's life insurance policy or policies regarding these people or person. Um, and um, what was the other one? And um, uh, there was another one. I can't remember the other one. I can't remember the other one. You can go back and check it. You can go back and check it. I can't remember the other one. Um, it was insurance. Um, oh, some about a wheel. Some about a wheel. A lawyer. A call from a lawyer. And then something about a wheel. So I think the call from the lawyer, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, is regarding the wheel. And then a call from an insurance company, I think, regarding some kind of life insurance policy that these person or people has left. And it didn't go to the proper person or people. That's exactly what I think. Yeah, it was a call from an insurance company, call from a lawyer. We had will energy. We had um, will energy. So somebody has uh, intentionally, I think, doctored some paperwork or will documents or something to prevent someone from getting some kind of money from a will from this person or people's deaths that they were supposed to get. That's exactly what I think. Uh, according to the spirit messages, because somebody's about to come in contact with the police officer regarding ch um, paperwork and charge or charges. I think regarding some kind of shifty behavior regarding these people's will from their death. Um, somebody's about to get a call from an insurance company regarding some kind of life insurance policy or policies regarding this person or people's death. And somebody is about to get um, a call from a lawyer regarding the will. Of this person or people's debts or regarding insurance policy or charges or something charges or charge or charges you plug it in how that resonates that's 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 strong and then there's i heard there's going to be an upcoming cancer's death that's about to be very very significant in somebody's life so you plug that in how that resonates for some, the upcoming death is going to be of a cancer child. For some, a cancer adult, severe addictions. Okay, I heard for some, the upcoming death is going to be of a cancer child. For some, the upcoming death is um, regarding a cancer child. And for some, it's regarding... A, a cancer adult that has severe addictions. So that's the upcoming cancer death. Um, that's the channeling I just received. So there's at least two cancers in the universe, upcoming deaths. These people have already passed away. This, this, these cancers have not yet, but um, it sounds like it's, it's going to happen uh, either soon or upcoming or what have you. But one of them is a cancer child. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. They are minor energy. They could be 17 or below, have cancer anywhere in their chart, masculine or feminine. And one is a cancer adult, I heard, that has severe addiction. So there's at least two cancer energies upcoming about to pass away. But um, they could be significant in your life or somebody you're connected to's life. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, wow. Wow. The cancer child is severely ill. Okay, I heard the cancer child is severely ill. So the cancer child upcoming that's about to pass away soon is severely ill. But the um, adult energy over here, because there's two of them, um, it sounds like it's going to pass away from severe addictions of some shape, form, or fashion. 
Now, that could be alcoholism, that could be drugs, that could be sex addictions, that could be, um, I think, sex addictions, drugs, or alcohol. Because any of those could kill you. And that's just the truth. Any of those can kill you. Uh, sex addictions can give you, um, like, HIV and AIDS and crazy STDs and um, just saying, just saying, which declines your health. Um, alcohol can lead to alcoholism, which can kill you, or alcohol poisoning. And drugs, overdose energy. Spirit messages you have for the flight there. A Libra is about to go to prison soon. They are going to be so pissed. And a Scorpio for some. Okay, I heard a Libra is about to go to prison soon. And a Scorpio for some. They're going to be so pissed. And a Taurus. And a Taurus. My God. Okay, so Lord have mercy. Whoa, what a reading. So three people's already passed away. Their deaths, um, they had some kind of money or property or life insurance policy. Or a very significant, hefty wheel. They very passed away. People fighting over the money, over their property, over their land, over their life insurance policy they've left. That basically they left to somebody that they basically have been doctoring paperwork and etc. 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 But these people very passed. They were basically fighting over the crap that wasn't theirs for these three people. We've got. Two people about to pass away, two cancers, one a child, one an adult. The adult has serious addictions of some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's sex, alcohol, drugs, or one pl or two plus, and then a cancer child that's severely ill. I, I didn't hear any further details on the cancer child. And then we have, um, oh my goodness, this is so strong. Um... And then the upcoming energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. My goodness. Um, and then a Libra, a Scorpio, and a Taurus. I heard it's going to go to prison. So some of these people could already be in jail. Or for some, because we have the upcoming people about to go to prison. Libra, Scorpio, and Taurus, I heard. They could have Libra, Scorpio, or Taurus. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhammer, Jupiter charts. Masculine or feminine, Libra, Scorpio, or Taurus. It could be you or somebody you're connected to, but I heard they're about to go to prison. Now, for some of these people, they could already be in jail, or they could be the ones that's about to get the communication from the police officer or the investigator, because we had investigator energy in here, too, that's about to meet with somebody. Um, so they could be um, um, flying by night. Investigator. Oh my God, I just heard flying by night investigator just now. So flying by night investigator. So, and there's an investigator in here too. So these people could be meeting with the investigator. Um, but the investigator sounds like it's flying by night. Um, they could be come to talk to you about person, people, place, family, situation, organization, or they could be coming to lock these folks up. Possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. All I heard was flying by night investigator. I think the investigator is governmental entity agency energy, possibly Federal Trade Commission energy. We've had a lot, a lot, a lot of that in the collective recently in my readings. A lot of Federal Trade Commission energy. But if this investigator works for the Federal Trade Commission, I would think they'd have the authority to charge these folks, lock their asses up. And that's just the truth. I'm serious because they have position of high authority enough, I would feel they would, I would assume and feel they would, to lock these assholes up. Because these three people about to go to prison. I mean, I heard prison. I didn't hear jail. I heard prison. So the investigator, flying by night investigator, I think is about to deal with these people or the police officer energy or both. How that resonates. But this person is not 
the flying by night investigator, I don't presume is going to mess around. Neither is the officer that's there to do his job to deliver or him or her to be him or her officer um, to deliver some kind of charge paperwork. And then, um, um, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, people should have just um, done the right thing. They should have done the right thing besides altering and doctoring paperwork, committing fraud and theft and um, and let people live happily. What is yours is not yours. When it, For anybody who needs to hear this, when somebody passes away and they leave a will, whoever's in their will is who they say, they say gets the stuff, basically. They have power and authority of their own property. That is their right as a, sit, a person, individual right. They have say on who they say gets whatever. But somebody wanted to control a situation and alter it. So somebody else didn't get what they want, um, should have gotten, basically. And that's what's creating all this crazy energetic space and readings and channelings and whatever. But the thing is, is they, they shouldn't have done it. And those assholes do deserve to go to prison. They absolutely do. Absolutely. Heard Taurus, Libra, and Scorpio. Upcoming prison people. Masculine or feminine? Spirit messages you have for the collective. This is strong. Okay, we have older man. Dealings a relationship with the older man. Firecracker, excitement, gong, an exciting event. I feel like I need to get one more. And one of the people going to prison is pregnant. But that's not going to stop anything. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. And I heard one of these people going to prison. My finger screwed up. Sorry. One of these people going to prison is pregnant. But it's not going to stop anything. So you plug that in. However, that resonates. If that resonates for you. We have three people I heard about to go to prison. Taurus, Scorpio, and Libra. At least one of these people is a femme energy, though. Because they, or they have been parts enough to produce a child. Because they currently have a child in their womb. Now, it could, they could be four weeks along or 36 weeks along. I'm not sure. But they have a child in their womb. One of them is a femme energy. Taurus, Scorpio, and Libra. They could have Taurus, Scorpio, or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid and Jupiter charts. One's pregnant. But I heard it's not going to stop anything. Spirit messages you have reflected. Leo energy too. Prison. Okay, I heard Leo energy too. Prison. Whoa, holy crap. So Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Leo energy. Prison. One of these people is a femme energy and they're pregnant. Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Leo, prison. Mm. We also have wall, this understanding. Older man, dealings or relationship with the older man. One very significant light side person is about to have a very significant meeting, face-to-face -face meeting with an older masculine energy. It's going to go very well. A lot of truth is about to be exposed to you that was hidden from you. You have very toxic family. Okay. So you plug it in, hot resonates. Sagittarius prison. Oh my God, what the hell? A lot of prison energy. We've got three deaths that's already occurred. 
that people are altering documentation and crazy crap. We've got um, people about to pass away. And we've got at least five people about to go to our prison. Prison. I didn't hear jail. Our prison. Leo. Libra. Um, Scorpio. Taurus. Sagittarius. They could have any of these in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheim, or Jupiter. One's pregnant. One's a fem energy. But whoever you are, whoever I'm channeling in here for this specific message, heard basically a very toxic family. And a very significant meeting with the older masculine energy is about to become very significant. You are light side. If this resonates with you, you're a light side person. You can be masculine or feminine. But a very significant meeting with this older masculine energy is about to become very significant in your life. I heard it's about to be very positive for you and this older masculine energy. And it's going to give you a lot of truth and clarity of the past. I heard you have very toxic family and they basically have been hiding a lot of truth from you. Um, it sounds like they've obviously been strategically hiding it from you. Um, probably, you probably was in these wheels or life insurance policy uh, from a death or deaths or a wheel or you were supposed to get something, I think. I didn't hear that. I just feel that you were supposed to get something out of at least one of these deaths, maybe two plus of these deaths, and you haven't got jack squat, but it's because of your toxic family or these assholes, however that resonates. But this person, this might be, for some of you guys, this might be the flying by night investigator. Maybe for some, I feel the flying by night investigator might come lock these assholes up. Or for some, the flying by night investigator might be this person for some of you guys. Possibly. I heard a very significant meeting with this person. So you plug it in, however that resonates. But I heard it's going to go very well for you. But um, whether it's the flying by night investigator or not, I feel for some it could be the flying by night investigator, possibly. For some, it might not be. It might be some other kind of significant meeting with an older masculine energy in your life that's going to go very, very positive. Um, but it's some kind of meeting energy. So it's, you know, professional and it's not personal. It's professional. But the heart, they're about to deliver you a lot of truth. You have very, very, very toxic family. And... Um, I think they're about to tell you about your toxic family and about some serious truths. I think for some that you were left out of this and they know you were left out of this. For some, this could be the flying by night investigator. For some, it could be the lawyer. For some, it could be um, lawyer, flying by night investigator or a police officer possibly. Well, but I heard the police officer had charges, so probably not. I'm thinking a lawyer. Flying by night investigator. Um, and uh, wasn't there another one too? There was something else too. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard it's going to make you very happy. It's going to make you very happy. Um, and I'm sure because, you know, being left out, being left in the dark with information, especially regarding money that could have helped you manifest and grow your life probably a long ass time ago. And children, if you have children, it could have really helped you. You probably could have moved by now. You could have, um, you know, done a, a million different wonderful, smart things with the money or what have you. But somehow your toxic family has been getting up in your business or wanting to get up in your business. But this person knows it. They know it. Whether they're the flying by night investigator, the lawyer, the um, whoever. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Excitement. This is going to make you very, very excited. You're going to be sad when you learn some of these people go to prison, but you know they deserve it. Information for some about money. It's going to make you very, very excited. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard that um, you're going to learn some kind of information, I think, from this older masculine energy about money. Um, and I heard it's going to make you very, very, very excited, basically. You have the uh, firecracker card. It's going to make you very excited. Um, so this person is going to deliver you information on your toxic family and truth about money, I think, from these pe people's deaths um, that they were trying to hide from you. Um, I heard, and you're going to learn information on these people about to go to prison. I think 
from this person or somebody connected to this person possibly. Uh, I heard it's going to, for some of you guys, it's going to make you sad basically when you learn about these people about to go to prison, but it's going to make you sad, but you know internally that they deserve it. So even though it's going to make you sad that they're going to go to prison, you know inside yourself with your own morals, values, ethics, and belief system that they deserve it. So yeah, it's going to make you sad because you probably have memories with them in the past, but I'm sure these people had something to do with this. And once you learn the connection of this, you're going to realize they, I, well, some you probably already intuitively knew they had connections. I'm pretty sure for a lot. But if you didn't know, you're going to put two or two together and realize they absolutely deserve to go to prison. And so you probably won't, you know, even though you have memories of them in the past, they obviously screwed you over. So they obviously deserve to go to prison. That's the way I look at it. Gong, an exciting event. And for one, one of these older masculine energies is about to make a huge wrong righted. You will get very public recognition for a huge endeavors in your career that you helped spearhead in the past and financial compensation for it. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. So whoever this is for, um, um, wow, that's beautiful. So if one of you guys helped spearhead something in your career field of the past, but um, and you sh should have been financially compensated for it in the past, but you were not for some strange reason. Um, I think it's your toxic ass family over here that probably prevented that. But you helped spearhead something beautiful and amazing and wonderful in your career path. So you are a career oriented person, um, but you didn't get the money for it. Um, whatever it was, it produced money. Um, and it, some, it was supposed to be some kind of very, very public recognition you were supposed to get for this, but you never got it basically. Um, but I heard um, one of these um, older masculine energies is going to help ensure that you do get public recognition for it and the money you deserve. So this could be a former, um, I feel this could be a former boss or somebody um, or maybe a corporate person or a former boss or a current boss or um, something of that nature. Is somebody in your career sector I'm feeling or for some it could be a lawyer that knows the information possibly. I feel in his career sector though for this person. I feel it's either a former boss, a current boss, somebody in corporate. Somebody that knows that you should have got this money. I heard a very, very, very large amount of money. A very, very, very large amount of money. You're like a spearhead and you help spearhead something wonderful in your career field. Like you either help create something or did create something or you spearheaded something beautiful in your career field. You're a career professional oriented person but you never got publicly recognized for it or money from it. And you're supposed to get a very, very, very large amount of money for it. And you never did. But this person's going to help make it right. I heard going to give you uh, help make it right. Help you get public recognition for it. So I think a ceremony, I think a ceremony, an exciting event. I think that's a ceremony celebrating you for your achievement or creation or something you have spearheaded in your career that's really helped your career, like your career field um, in some shape, form, or fashion. And they're going to help you get the recognition you deserve and uh, apparently a very, very, very large amount of money for it. So an exciting event, I think, is you being publicly recognized the way you should have been a long time ago, basically, and you wasn't. And that could be coupled with the um, excitement, too. That's beautiful. Congratulations to whoever that's for. That's, and it's really sad your own toxic ass family hid this information from you. That's really freaking sad. I just want to make that very publicly clear. That's very sad that your own family feels they have to compete against you and do better than you and wants to keep you back. You did something amazing in your own freaking career field and you were supposed to get a hell of a lot of large amount of money for it. But now you don't even have any of that. You wasn't recognized or had the large amount of money for it because your own toxic ass family and these assholes wanted to hold it back from you. How freaking sad is that? How sad is that? 
Just saying, just saying. Wall misunderstanding. Several people are about to help you with this in a huge way. Not toxic family or toxic friends of the past. You were meant for much, much better, and these people know this, and they're about to help iron it out. Wow, this is beautiful, you guys. This is beautiful. Holy crap. I, I wasn't planning on doing this reading tonight, but I'm very glad I did. Okay, so, because, um, you know, sometimes the energetic space at night is, whoa. So, whoever this is for, basically, um, these older masculine energy or energies, or it could be an older femme energy that takes on heavy masculine. This can either be it. I heard, I heard older masculine energy in here for at least one of these people, but I feel like it's two or more people for some of you guys. Um, for some, it could be the same person. For some, it could be two plus. But one's definitely a masculine energy for one of you guys, it could be um, maybe a masculine energy and a fin that takes on heavy masculine. You plug it in, how it resonates. But however that resonates, basically, um, they're going to help you iron this out. I heard specifically from Spirit, it is not your toxic family, and it is not toxic frenemies of the past. So, because I heard you're meant for much better. And these per this person or people sees this. They see you are meant for much better. And they're going to help you iron it out. Um, but they see, they also see, I think, that your toxic ass family has been holding you back and toxic ass frenemies of the past, like karmic energy, just wanting to block you, block you, block you. They didn't give you useful information. They didn't tell you really what was going on. They just wanted to hold you back because they wanted to compete with you. But these, this person or people sees you're meant for much better because you've already achieved something amazing in your career field in the past. But you wasn't properly compensated for it. And I feel for some, you were supposed to get some kind of inheritance or money or property or land or something in a will or insurance pol um, insurance policy or something of that nature from some kind of death of these people, person or people. And toxic frenemies of the past and toxic family ain't telling you shit about it because they don't want you to have it. They don't want you to have money. They don't want you to have success. They don't want you to be publicly recognized. They don't want you to be publicly recognized in your career field because they would feel you're outshining them. Well, they didn't do it. So I don't know what the hell their problem is. They just need to move on and manifest and grow their own damn selves. And that's just the truth. So we have the misunderstanding card. Basically, they um this person is um they realize they made a mistake and they're about to help iron it out, basically. And that's beautiful energy. That's really beautiful. Um I heard um, several people are going to help you iron it out. So that's why I think it might be an older masculine energy or an older masculine with maybe a femme with heavy masculine, how that resonates. But um, that's beautiful. That's beautiful energy. But you have some very, whoever this is for, you have some very toxic frenemies that are basically karmics to your ass and toxic family. But I heard it's not going to be your toxic family and it's not going to be your toxic frenemies of the past that basically have been holding back very important, pertinent information from you. Because um, they want to keep you stuck. Because they want to look like they do better than you. They want to compete with you. Well, that, well the hell, that's like fifth grade uh, tag energy. I would hope all these people, all you guys are 18 plus that watch these videos. Just saying, just saying. Everybody needs to low and learn and grow and mature in life. And that's just the truth. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. I hope this helped and namaste.